Um, so let's review where we're at. We've done our cross, and then I've came up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, and I put my false rim of uh, a half in there. And let me talk to you about why I do a half, even though I'm going to do a 5 8 rim on this. I like it so that it's a little bit shorter, so that when I put that number 8 filler on top, it's not pushed up so far kind of goes down in there because it's got a little bit of room. So that's the reason for that. And I want to talk to you about how I put these handles in and how I'm going to change it. Um, somebody had asked me, Jill, how come you put the handles on the inside uh, versus the outside of the basket? So this one is on the outside. This one is on the inside. Now you don't see it, but I thought, well, why do I do that? Now I remember. Especially for this, because I'm putting it in early, if I keep it on the outside, I can't tuck this on the inside. And I like to do that with these guys. I'm going to bend them over and tuck them on the inside so they don't show. So I've changed this on the one side, and I'm going to change it on the other. Now, because I've let this sit overnight, I can pull these out easy. If it's wet, it's going to be more of a pain in the butt. But So I'm just going to pull that out, and then I'm going to slide these in here so that I can tuck them. Okay, so when it's dry, it's easy. When it's wet, not so easy. So uh, usually I just say, and cut and tuck and rim. But not everybody knows how to cut and tuck and rim. And so I'm going to show you my version of it. I'm sure there are several. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to spray these guys first. And I'm just going to do a couple, you don't know, have to go all the way around the basket with you. And because the naturals are on the outside and the blacks are on the inside, the blacks are going to get cut flush. Now I always kind of push that back a little bit. I want that below that, once again, just for bulk. So I'll cut them down just a little bit so they don't show. And then here's the deal with cutting and tucking because I know some people think, eh, cutting and tucking. I'm going to bend that over. Okay, you should probably should wait until it was a little bit wetter. You don't have to tuck, uh, you know, a whole what's ever left down in there. Eh. All you need to do is secure that row. So I don't do it that far down. Now, you can either come over this and come down, but if it's a pain, come down a couple. That is really dry. So, uh, and that's why that's cracking. You see what I'm saying? That's all you need to do. And then, like this is a little rag up on top. Well, it's not going to show, but it will make it rough. So that's all we do. Now, because these need to be wet and have it set a little bit, that's all I'm going to show you. And then I'll rim it.